Waycross Community Media welcomes you to tonight's GCL South varsity football matchup between the St. Xavier Bombers and the LaSalle Lancers. Brandon Heflin, number 80. Robbie Reese, number 22 for St. Xavier, stands at his 35. Heflin on courts a nice one, driving Reese back to the 30. He takes the ball, begins to run up the right side, has a seam, and he's across midfield, still on his feet, and will finally be brought down inside of LaSalle territory at the 40-yard line. So motion and Dolly will take it himself looking downfield to pass pass is complete four wideouts for the Bombers Dolly takes a snap looking man wide open in it's Kevin Milligan again and he is inside of the LaSalle end zone for six points for the Bombers sharp sharp out to the other side of the field <clears throat> a little soft there in the secondary LaSalle was playing off looks like some kind of five under defense and you can see Milligan wide open right at the goal line and Kevin Milligan's number getting called many times on that drive that results in a St. Xavier touchdown Nick Romer to attempt the extra point the kick is up and it is good Capano takes a snap throws over the middle passes complete for a big gain for LaSalle out to the 30 yard line Tyler Vogelpohl lost his hat, held onto the ball, and picks up a critical third down this for is LaSalle. One of the, this is one of the things LaSalle really likes to do with Vogelpohl, is bring him across the middle. This they have four wide receivers, and Nelson in the backfield. Capano looking to pass over the middle, but it's intercepted by Robbie Reese, and he will take it over to the 40-yard line. He's got some daylight down the left side of the field. He dodges another LaSalle Lancer, and he's going to take it inside of the 15-yard line, almost to the 10. They all, they, it looked like they tried to go back to that same play with Vogelpohl right over the middle, but the pass sailed a little bit on Capano, and it was intercepted by Reese. Yeah, it's, it's a well-run route. The ball was just a little high. As you can see, it was off his fingertips, and, and Reese is right there to pick that play off. It's what they do best on third down, is try to work inside the numbers rather than outside. The throw was just high. And there you get a look at the return abilities of Robbie Reese. South's 11 yard line, first and 10. Dolly receives a snap. He's going to hand it off to Hunley, who is going to walk into the end zone. They've been feeding him the ball on a consistent basis, and this time he takes it in for 11 yards for the score. Well, just outstanding blocking up front. They left where four are lined up. He will roll to his right, still looking. Fires to the 20, and LaSalle receiver is knocked out of bounds by two Bombers. Yeah, design roll out there. Three receivers to the wide side of the field, flooding the zone. Three options, Capano taking the one closest to him really in the sidelines. Very impressed with what LaSalle has done, working in the middle of the field. St. Xavier goes back to the pistol, Milligan in motion. The handoff will go to nobody as there is a bomber wide open down the field. An excellent play action. Pass out of the pistol. Looked like it was going to Milligan. Looked like it could have been going to Hilliard. But instead, Dolly throws a strike way downfield for a St. Xavier touchdown. Oh, inside, handoff, you respect that. You can see Griffin down there putting the ball on his hip. And it appears to be some sort of missed assignment wide open down the middle of the field. And on the touchdown for the Bombers, that was number six as he receives a snap, looking. And he is going to fumble, and it looks up. Like, oh, ball's still on the ground. Now the Bombers look like they're definitely going to pick it up, and they do. A helmet falls off in the scramble for the ball. And it looks like Jalen Sutton Jackson is the one that falls on top of that ball. You can see here Capano holding the ball, holding the ball, trying to step into the pocket, and there he loses it. One of the things you have to be aware of in the pocket is you've got to have that clock. He just held the ball there too long. Should have thrown it away. So if it's not there in those first two seconds, you've got to get rid of it. You can see here, swoop and score, Jalen Sutton Jackson. This is going to be a difficult field goal, a 37-yard field goal attempt from the right hash mark. The kick is up, and he poked it through. Four receivers for LaSalle, two to each side. Capano looking, he's gonna throw it over the middle, wide open. 
It appears to be Vogelpohl again. Yeah, Vogelpohl over the middle, that slant route in. It's been there the whole game. It's, it, there's no one in the middle of the field. It's just a question of whether Capano can step in there and make the throw. You can see Vogelsong, no, no fear over the middle. Capano receives the snap. He's going to look to pass again. Again, over the middle, wide open. The LaSalle receiver, Derek Keith, will take it down to the 30, and LaSalle seems to have something going in the waning seconds, minutes, excuse me, of this second half, or second quarter. Yeah, now, now LaSalle in sync. Again, working in the middle with a big receiver, just like with Vogelpohl. Um, very effective over the middle, because Sanex is dropping the safeties deep to protect against the, uh, the deep throw. So LaSalle is into St. Xavier territory with that play at the 30-yard line. Capano takes the snap. He's looking deep again. He's going to throw a ball, and that interception is dropped. It looked like Jalen Sutton Jackson was it. For a minute, 58 seconds left in this first half. Second and 10 for LaSalle from the 30. Capano looking to his left over the middle again. Ooh, I can continue. Capano takes a snap, looking to his left. He's going to throw over the middle. That pass is complete for a LaSalle first down to the 16 yard number 40 seconds in the second quarter. A fade route to the end zone. Keith has the ball. That is a touchdown for the Lancers. So Doug again, as you said, getting into that rhythm. LaSalle finds some success late in the second quarter. Yes, the, the fade route, the exact same play they ran before that should have been intercepted. You can see here, just great extension, out athleting the defender for the ball. The boot to the ball, and he will drive it back to the five yard line, a line drive kick. Braswell takes it across the 20, he's got a crease, he's out to the 40 yard line before he is rocked by a LaSalle defender, or Braswell rocks a LaSalle defender, but either way, he slowed up enough that other Lancers were there to make the tackle. Wow, that was pretty impressive. He took that blow and kept steaming. You can see here a seam, again, a return to the left. Sanex getting the wedge, blocking. You can see here right there, boom. Didn't knock him down. They have to go to the LaSalle parking lot for a first down. Dolly back to pass. Tons of time. He's going to air it out deep. He's got a man that's open. He readjusts to make the catch. That's Kevin Milligan again for the bomber first down. A very nice readjustment as that ball was underthrown and then Milligan, nobody by him. He had time to camp out under that thing. All the way to the parking lot, huh? A deep route here. Milligan running just a seam route down the sidelines. And LaSalle, you can't see her in the picture, but the defensive back drive coverage. Look back. And Milligan made a great adjustment here to come back. Great hand-eye coordination, ball skills. Dolly will look to pass. He's going to throw to the right. He's got a man open in the end zone, wide open. Touchdown, Trey Kilgore for the Bombers. And it looked like the LaSalle defender didn't even know that the ball was coming that time as he was completely turned around to Dolly. You know, this is, a, again, a difficult throw to the wide side of the field, deep into the corner of the end zone. And an excellent throw, right dead on the money. This kick will be returned. Burkhart seems to have it, goes up the middle, across the 30. He's across the 40, and he's got speed out to the outside, and it looks like he's going to take this one all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Lancers, as they quickly respond to the Bomber touchdown. Some more, again, momentum here for LaSalle. A big play here by Burkhardt taking it up the middle. Really, it's a middle return, and he gets just enough of a seam there right through the wedge to the outside, and Burkhardt, Burkhardt really showing some great speed here, turning the corner and outrunning the entire wide contain for the kickoff team for St. X. Brandon Heflin into attempt the point after touchdown. His kick is up, and it is good. And LaSalle quickly responds to the St. Xavier touchdown as Heflin puts the ball into play. And again, a line drive kick that bounces at the 10. The ball comes out to the 30. As Dolly takes the ball, hands it off to Hunley. Hunley 
churning those legs, almost picking up the first down as he takes that ball all the way out to the 40 here on third and two. As Dolly takes a snap, hands it. No, keeps it. He's across the 50, still on his feet, and he is off to the races. He's going to be down to the 30. Cuts inside or fakes inside to down to the 15-yard line. The handoff goes to Hundley. He easily has the first down as he goes down to the one-yard line, knocking again. Same exact play again. Hundley is going to be stopped on his initial penetration, but keeps turning those legs and goes in for the St. Xavier touchdown. And we are back to action as LaSalle starts the fourth quarter from the 34-yard line. And Feaster throws an interception. And there is nothing but green space between the Bombers and the end zone right here on this interception return. Finally knocked out at the 15-yard line of LaSalle. Andrew Aaron on the interception and the excellent return. And as you can see, just a ball that was thrown up into the air, a little bit over the head of the intended receiver in green space for the return. And that was Andrew Aron making the play there. Just pressure, that's all that was. Sadex brought five. It's gonna be third down and six from the six. Dolly receives a snap. He will hand it off to Hundley. It looks like he's going to be stopped just short. Actually, Michael Bosser on the carry, the fullback. Quick snap. As the Bombers are gonna try to punch it in, Same and they will. Michael Bossert. Michael Bossert with the touchdown for the Bombers. Feaster receives a snap, looking. He'll throw along the sideline, first down for LaSalle, as the ball is taken across the 35 yard. Get more proficient. Second and eight for LaSalle. A little screen play developed by the Lancers, and that's gonna be a very successful play as the ball is taken all the way down to the St. Xavier 45. A quick throw from Feaster over the middle, pass is complete inside the 10 yard line and a late penalty flag. Inside there, that's that's five more yards. And that'll winch the Lancers closer to the St. Xavier goal line. Again, another little screen as it's cut inside, touchdown LaSalle. Max Barleg scores on the screen from Feaster. Yeah, this is the same play they ran early in the drive. Again, what good timing here. Patience, letting things develop. You can see 26 Barlock untouched into the end zone. 